Right, we're back out in Harwood Forest for a, another wild camp. Uh, this time I'm with the young wanderer. I don't see little wanderer anymore, have you noticed? Because actually, he's a touch bigger than me now. I think by about an inch, something like that. So I kind of kind of call him. In fact, you'll be calling me shortly before long. <laughs> Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Oh, well, I've not heard that one before. So we're here at Harwood Forest. We're going to do a wild camp. I haven't brought a trail camera because, to be honest with you, it never picks note up. Really interesting. Not in the forest anyway. I brought another tarp to put over the shelter because that one leaks. It's just got one or two holes in it. It's a few year old now. I'm in two minds what to do. I've got my roll mat in ground sheet and I may just lie in there on the bottom. There's not many bugs. The only problem is I can't get a full length hammock in there. So that one, I think it's going to do just for like a lounger, just for like chilling out on. Chillax, man. You probably noticed we've got a, a little fire pit though. We did that the last time we were here. What a job we had to do that. It's just rocks everywhere. The idea is to have a small fire for cooking, but not to have it too big, obviously. Uh, but that you've got all the spruce roots and leaf litter and that, so we've had to dig down to the hard clay. But it, when we started digging, we found that it was all stones. This monolith thing here um, looks like a tombstone, actually. We dug that out of there. And if we knew the size of it, we would have stopped. Me buddy burners, well... What, less of them? When we got here, they were in the back and has been rodent damage. They've been chewed through and um, they've made a canny job of it. They've chewed it all up. Maybe they've used the, um, the paper to build a nest. But luckily they haven't, there isn't any top damage. And that's one of the reasons why I don't leave anything valuable. I've got like a hammock chair in there and other things. You know, there's plenty of notches. I put all my gear. And like I say, I'm going to either lie in the bivy, which I think I will do because it's going to be more comfortable. That hammock is a little bit too short for me. I've got it hanging off the tree there. On the cheap webbing that comes with a hammock, Christopher got a hammock for Christmas, and that cheap webbing, it's no good. So I've wrapped that round there a few times and used like a, like a timber hitch. Just wrapped it round the corners a few times. Right, I'll give you a look at Christopher's setup. There's another... 10 foot by 10 foot DD top, and he's in the 10th wonder hammock, which has absolutely got lots of bags of room in there. You think you're going to be comfortable in the night? Mm hmm. Well, couldn't have picked a better day for camping, you know, it's beautiful. Still got, a bit uh, chilly. Yeah, it is once the, once the sun goes down, it's absolutely. Freezing basically this time of year. Warm through the day, cold in the night time. But we're not soft, are we? No. We're not fair weather wanderers. We've got the ridge line across there with a quick release. I'm not gonna pull it because it'll it'll come out. And got a Prozic knot and use them little carabiners just to tension it up. In fact, on a day like this, if you know it's not gonna rain, you can still leave the ridge line up and just unhook the top. Not proper climbing rings, aim. In fact, I can't remember where I got them from, but you know, they're ideal for the two rings, ideal for getting the right adjustments. We've got his top in the diamond configuration because there's no like strong winds and driving rain, it's not gonna it's not gonna get wet. There's gonna be no wind blowing in from the sides, basically. So that's quite adequate. Are you loving it then? Yeah, mm hmm. We're gonna have a little bit of a barbecue tonight, now fancy because we have got all that food, just to try out the fire pit. We brought a few extra things here just to try out. We made the stove out of a, a beer keg. I actually bought it for the keg. I wasn't bothered with the real ale, but I, I drank it obviously, you know what I mean? But I was more interested using this, you know what I mean? Rather than just getting drunk. Obviously put some stones in there to build it up. I have the buddy burner just underneath there. Right, I'm gonna stop filming and get back here if something really interesting happens which it normally does in Harwood Forest, get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know it makes sense, you know it makes sense. Just a shame you didn't make sense. What? Just a shame you didn't make sense. And uh, We're just having a quick snack at the minute. We've got all that wood 
for later. We need to collect a bit more actually, the bigger stuff. But we've got the kindling, bigger bits of wood, and then we need some fuel, some logs to put on this. But we're not going to light it until later and have a little bit of a barbecue. But we're just having a snack at the minute. These things, snack shots. I've mixed the broccoli and pasta in with the snack shot because I put far too much water in. So I thought I'll just double up. Then it's like a proper meal because I just snacks basically and they're not really filling. But that looks really cheesy. <laughs> a bit like Christopher's crack. Get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know, it makes sense. Nah, that's good out now. So I'm just chilling out at the minute, eating my food. Waiting for it to get dark and the spooky things to happen, if there is anything going to happen. There wasn't any any tree breaks or anything like that. There wasn't anything new or anything different when we, when we got here. I've put the new tarp over the old tarp. So it's like double of double of protection in the old basher there. You know, that's uh, bomb proof, that thing. But this tarp, I got it from... Yorkshire Trading, 4 99 I think it's like an 8 foot by 10 foot. Happy days. It's a bit on the thin side, but obviously that's double the protection. Just that camo top, it was, it was just leaking in just a couple of little places. It meant I had to be in a bivvy all the time. So this way, I've got like, I've got more options. I can just lie in this hammock. This pink hammock, I love the colour. Blends in well with the woodland green, doesn't it, Christopher? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to lie down there somewhere, if this is so too uncomfortable. I actually think this is going to be more of a, a lounger. Well, Dad, as you've said to me last time we were here, last time we are camping, you've got to stay in touch with your feminine side. Well, I, that's what I try to do, Christopher, and I try to teach you the same, the same, like, uh, the same... The same mindset, the same values in life, being in touch with your feminine side. And then it's okay to wear pink and have pink things and and have a girlfriend called Brian. So this is it, this is about as good as it gets for us. That wind's getting up and I'm swinging on my hammock, I haven't eaten my bait yet, I'm starting to get a bit hungry and I've started filming. But look at this guys, this is what it's all about. Just waffling, waffling and chilling out in the spooky forest of doom. Try not to get freaked out the night, but, you know, if there's anything dodgy in this place that would do a harm, it would have done it by now. But I think that's definitely a paranormal phenomenon here. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Well, I've, got, I've, got, I've made me weapon. I've, I've took the bark off and filed it down. Right. Christopher's got his... Uh, He's got his protection for the night. He's got a club. Actually, that'll do us a good um, tree knocker. Well, Christopher's uh, he's not happy with the view, or the lack of the view, because he's uh, the flaps on his top was just a little bit too low, which actually means you're not going to see much. So he's basically raised it with that. I don't know what you call it. He's used his brains for once, haven't you? Whatever. Yeah, you've raised the, uh, the guy line, so you can like look down there. In case there's anything creepy going on through the night. So you're comfortable in that, are you? Mm-hmm. It's it quite nice. Like, it matches your coat, doesn't it, camo? Yeah. But what he hasn't done is, is put that slippery half hitch in. Yeah, it must have come out. Everything's more or less set up. Quick look around. That's for cooking area there. Got a little pad just for kneeling on, save me feet, save me knees, I'm getting uh, getting old. Worn. Getting worn in my old age. And then we've got, uh, see, preparation is the key to a successful night of cooking and lighting fires and all that sort of thing. This one's got his chair sorted, he nicked it off me. Got his action camera. He's got a high five stuck in the, in the uh, cup holder. Never mind. I thought it was a chicken, you know, like a chicken seat, like a rooster's here at the comb. I thought he had a chicken stuff. Oh, I'm losing it all. Can you see the, the rooster?
You know it makes sense. I'm going to get the fire going now because it is getting chilly and it'll take some time for the, the wood to burn down and get a nice bit of coals and then we'll start cooking. I would have did it like out the pit. You're leaning right into it. You know, I mean, it's up to you. But... I'm going to do it with a lighter because... Do you want me to show you how to do it? It's not a very good fire, see that one thing? Mm -hmm. Drop that on there. And getting the footage in there. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. It's a bit fiddly, Christopher, I think. It's just getting the right technique, you know what I mean? You'll get there. Uh, right, so... Put some of these on. Houtini! Best to chuck stuff on once the flames like it's doing there now is way above the wood, that's when you put more on. You know what I would do, Chris? I would put the fuel on now, you know, the keep the, the smaller kindling for another time. Where's the fuel? Well, just just chuck it on and I'll just supervise from the seat. What are you, the judge? No, I'm the uh, I'm the slave master. Why have a dog and bark yourself? That's my philosophy. I didn't know you had one. Well, I haven't got a dog, but I've got a slave. Well, you do have a dog. It's called Christopher. Already, I can feel the warmth coming off that. It's lovely. Probably take about half an hour to die down and get a bit of coals. But no hurry to cook because we're having long eating and it's uh I feel a little bit sick from the macaroni cheese that was about three years out of date. Broccoli and cheese. Broccoli and cheese, I taste like cardboard. Honestly I didn't enjoy it, but I knew that it was food. Once you get past once it gets past the taste buds and it's in your stomach then it's sustenance, isn't it? You know what I mean? We can eat it. I've brought it out that many times, it's been in me pack. And obviously we've been dehydrated it and just be kept forever, you know. And I just keep looking at it and I just never wanted it. And I thought, look, I'm gonna have to just get I purposely took I purposely brought less food, knowing that I would have to eat it. You know what I mean? So You forced yourself. I've basically I forced myself, yes. You know where it's at. I used to be the best of fire lighting in the Essex. Yeah, because you're an arsonist. <laughs> or should I show it and say you're an arse? This is a family YouTube channel. We shouldn't have any swearing. No, I can't say anything. You're that cool, Christopher. The fire's gonna go out. Do you know that? Well, I can't see you. Put your shades on. It'll protect your eyes. I'm saying I can't see out with them on. I actually thought it was uh, Michael Jackson there when... Not Michael, aye, Michael, Michael Jackson, Michael, or Michael. George Michael, one of the two. Go and put them on, see what you look like. Aye. If I had my, um, the, the mask on. Do you realise all the girls are going to be uh, flocking to your YouTube channel when you eventually when you have one? Because it's the shades that does it, you know, it makes you look cool. Not that you're cool, it just makes you look Apparently cool. Apparently I look like a hipster when I wear them. What's a hipster? I don't know. A dipstick, a hipstick. Hippie. You've got to have long hair to be a hippie, you know. A hipster. Never mind. That's what the kids at school say. When I wear, when I wear sunglasses, I look like a hippie. You can tell there's a bit of a generation gap here because I don't even know half the words he's coming up with. It's Terminator time. How do you put them on then? You're too cool for the camping, you know, that with them, sh them shades on. Is that supposed to keep the smoke in your eyes? Yeah, it's meant to, but they're too slack. Yeah. Oh well. I'll bring your uh, swimming goggles next time. Yeah. With a snorkel. <laughs> I've got a snorkel. I think I've got a full face snorkel. I've been feeding the wood through there. That's actually a good little system, that. I didn't really design it like that. I just didn't have a nice big stone for here, so it's a bit lower. Instead of having to cut logs to a certain size, you can just basically feed them in at any length. And it saves on your cutting tools. Oh, that one. I 
I've missed meatballs so much. Only the best lips and arsehole goes into Lidl's meatballs. What make is it? Newgate. Newgate. Well, they make the chicken curry, you know. So What did you say before? Only the best lips and arseholes goes into making Westgate's meatballs. Is it Westgate? Oh, Newgate. Newgate. Oh, different, will you? At least with a chop, you know what you're getting. That's completely put it put me off now. Uh, it's all good meat, honestly. I know, it's just... It's all the best cut. In fact, them chops are like... If they'd been in any longer, they would have been over. So they're spot on them. Um. Thank you. I'm glad my cooking is up to your standards. Well, it's not. Why don't you bring us a steak next time? Give this bad boy a try. I've never had it before. Heinz Creation Spanish Beans with Smoky Pepper and Onion. I think it's more of a vegetarian uh, type meal. But I think you've got to add a bit of meat in to make it worth your while. Mmm. Don't know well you can see that. That's, uh, you know what it is? They're quite expensive these, I can't remember the price. Well, about two quid. That's just beans and a bit of spices in, especially tomato sauce. Nice yeah, so I'm not gonna grumble. Any good? Spicy. You know what, you know what they taste like? I can't remember. Beans. You know pepperoni pizzas? The top one you mean? No, the the tomatoes, the tomato paste. The puree. Yeah, it smells it tastes like that. It's got a tomato like puree they taste, but no, that's better than Pasta and broccoli. Mm. Meat for men. Vegetables for losers. I'm not a man though. I'm 13. No, but you will turn out to be a fine specimen of a man if you eat meat. If you eat rabbit food, you'll end up, look, you'll end up ground up with buck teeth and look like rabbits. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? What could be more interesting and better than a barbecue in the woods? Me. Camped out in the middle of nowhere? Me. Looking for strange going on? Me. Never finding Bigfoot? <laughs> Go out to see if I'll go? No. Do the horns. Get wrong for that, you know, doing the horns. <laughs> well, that's a field recorder. Switched on and set away. Right, we're going to do some wood knocks. It never works, we're never here now. We'll, we'll do it anyway, just mm. for something to do. Cut huh? the time. <laughs> Have you heard anything? No, nah, all I can hear is like it's howling, but it's not how actually howling, it's just the wind through the no, trees. That's no wind, Christopher. So if you're hearing howling, it's not the wind. We've got the field recorder running as well, so we should be able to pick any faint sounds up from that. Should I do a whoop? Go on then. Whoop! People think we're mental, you know. <laughs> no, I, I can just hear cars, I think. So what you're saying is we've totally wasted our time doing this. Yeah, yeah let me give me, I'll do a knock. Yeah. Go on then. You do them hard. That hurt me hand. That actually the Now that the vibration. Should I try a howl? Oh. I have done howls, but I've never like recorded it, you know what I mean? People are gonna think I'm stupid, mate. Right? They already do. That hurt my throat, that, you know. I think we need, I think I need to call the men in the white coats to get to come out, examine you. I need help, Christopher. That smoke. I do one more knock. Examined coming here, doing <laughs> howls and... Should we do one more knock, shall we? Yeah. Why don't, why don't you do a howl? No. Oh, go on. It hurt, no, because um, when I shout, it hurts my throat. I know, but yeah, that's not a, that's a shout, that's not a howl. Oh, come on. Are you doing it? Oh, wait, hold on.
Yeah, so I'm gonna I think it's an owl. I'm gonna switch the cameras off now and I'm just gonna sit and listen for anything unusual. Mm. The audio recorder's running, it'll run all night. We could just sit around the campfire and tell stories, couldn't we? Yeah. Manly stories. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to be too frightened. So have you go out to see a young Skywalker? Nope. That's all I get off here in the morning, you know, when I say good morning, you go, no. Yeah, I heard the birds. That's a blackbird. I could hear it calling its mate before. I'm going to sit quiet. I'm actually going to switch off. I might edit a little bit of the, the songbirds in there, you know. But we'll just kind of like chill out now and have just just sit around the fire and just listen and wait for anything interesting to happen, see if there's any strange goings on. about to go now it's uh, it's been a good one it wasn't that cold was it really minus 10 or something like that it was really cold this morning chilly in the morning that's because it's always cold when you get a warm sleeping bag but it was close to freezing but i wouldn't say it was like mega cold well we didn't really hear anything strange last night apart from two o'clock in the morning there was like a loud crashing noise like like a tree falling or something like that but that's just no wind it was eerily quiet for most of the night I've tidied the place up, everything's put away, nice and neat. Christopher's comes down. Fire pits looking tidy. And I think Christopher wants to get away because I think he wants a bacon sarnie when he gets in. I was at a chocolate, yeah. hot chocolate. Ah, an egg sarnie. He misses his mum's cooking, what can I say? Right. Well, it's been a good one. Nothing to report until I listen to the audio, but I will put that in the video at some point so any final words Christopher? No. Get out and do it a while Campman. You know what makes sense. You know what makes sense. You are incredibly silly you know that. Of course I am. I wouldn't have it any other way. 